Renowned for its rich content and unbiased perspective, ISSE is designed to educate and to inform ICT security professionals, policymakers, and industry leaders on the latest developments in technology, solutions, market trends, and best practice. ISSE 2009 attracted over 300 representatives from across Europe, offering exclusive insights into the latest developments in corporate and government security. Today I've talked to people from Finland, from Norway, from Spain, from Italy, uh, as well as the Netherlands and, and uh, France and Germany. So you've got a very continental audience here. This is mainly our target customer audience. It's a combination of, of, of uh, companies and organizations that are high level. And uh, we also find a few, few partners that are interesting to, for us to, to, to work with. Uh, in the future. I think it's also the mixture of the audience. Eh? It's, a, it's the, the, the academic world, it's a, you know, the, the, the researchers which are always, that are already looking for solutions for the, for the next five years, but also some of the end users are saying, hey, <laughs> is this really working? And I think and that's, and that combination, uh, that's, uh, I think that's the, the, the key success of uh, Dan ISC. The conference program has evolved and expanded to ensure that it remains relevant to all stakeholders in the security debate. The last time I was here was two years ago. I see the standard has actually increased again in terms of the, the, the quality of the presentations being given. They're much less sales pitches, but much more interesting. Not always at a technical level, but also for business people as well. People are actually doing stuff and having some considered thoughts about how to improve security. I'm impressed on the, on the deep technical um, insights that the speakers have, so they are really good speakers here. Very high quality and uh, interesting topics, and it's not just sort of dealt with at a superficial level, it uh, goes into quite a lot of depth. Well, I really like that on the program this year you have incorporated some non-traditional speakers and sessions as part of a, a technology conference especially in the identity management realm. We need to have outside voices, people uh, talking about how do you teach children proper use or appropriate use of internet or, or what are the possible outcomes, the, you know, the detrimental outcomes of how you use social networking sites. I thought it was great also to have people with a sociology um, background, mm -hmm. for example, um, because we need that injection of research and thinking from those perspectives because us in the IT industry, you know, we're, we're geeks, we're engineers, <clears throat> and we're not the best equipped to deal with some of the social challenges of how, um, how IT, how computing systems and how the internet is used now and in the future. So that's been a really interesting element of the conference. Coming to Holland, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, whether it was going to be a very, I mean, a, a, a wide European panel or like it was interesting to this morning with just a, a German panel talking about uh, one specific subject but for some strange reason they were all from Germany which is uh, interesting because you get a difference it's a difference of opinions like I deal with English people all the time and you get sort of the English view of the world but I think it's good to hear what's happening in the Benelux in Germany in, in uh, Sweden and, and other places so from that perspective it's been very good. ISSE is designed to encourage knowledge sharing and peer-to-peer -peer discussion providing the perfect environment for unparalleled networking opportunities. There's an amazing amount of discussion going on in the hallway, which is one of the big objectives. And I'm sure people come to hear the talks and to participate and to give talks, but I think they also really enjoy meeting your colleagues and, and running over all the technology and maybe having arguments. I like arguments. Oh, it's very technically oriented. I mean, people are here to learn. Uh, it's very much a, an educational and a, a networking and a giving of information environment and a receiving of information environment. It, it's very different to a standard trade show uh, in that it is a, a specialist's area rather than a generic area. I find, I find these good networking uh, events, for, for, for me as a business development professional, um, I'm looking to meet new faces, I'm, I'm looking to see what's happening in, in, in the sector and you have a track here this year that, that really does address uh, the national PKI element quite well, so I'm glad we fit into the program and, and I intend to, to spend more time here in the, in the coming years. There are people around uh, the IZ uh, who are already in the business for 20, 30 years, uh, very experienced and uh, I think it's also a sharing uh, the event that we also can 
and to give something back then to the industry. So, uh, some things what can work and what can't work. And uh, I think that's also uh, one of the, the key things of ISZ. And of course, it's great fun. There is a lot of discussion about topics which are flying below the radar. Uh, and in that sense, I think it's a good place for uh, people in the industry uh, and clients uh, and users to come together and talk about their issues, uh, not only in terms of those that you can solve tomorrow, but also those that will play a major role in a couple of years. I thought it was a, a good opportunity to get to, uh, to hear what, the, what people that are in this industry are saying. I, I've been a bit disconnected from all this, so it was a good chance for me to uh, reconnect, I guess. And uh, I've really enjoyed the breakout sessions, uh, get, to, uh, get to hear some, some really interesting uh, talk on, on uh, all subjects. I mean, all, all the stuff uh, I've had attended so far has been uh, valuable for me, so yeah, it's been very good. We asked a cross-section of delegates and exhibitors what they hoped to achieve by attending ISSE 2009. I'm actually working on a project at the moment which is related to all this identity management, uh, PKI deployment in a corporate, uh, corporate environment and so on, so I was keen to hear some of the, the views and, and something that was said this morning about uh, uh, things that took a long time to get uh, acceptance in the market and now are, are widely being deployed, So, which is what I'm finding with the, the people I talk to as well. My customers basically are quite keen to move in that space and not just one, there's a few of them sort of getting uh, more and more interested in uh, deploying some PKI, uh, internal PKI solutions. And it's been in the market for 10 years and no one's done anything about it. It's all starting to happen now. So it's interesting to hear it from, not just from my customers, but also from speakers and, and so on. So it's been very good. I'm just interested in, in what's coming up in, in terms of threats um, in the IT security stuff. So that's why I'm here. And I hope some at least insights or share some thoughts with vendors, strategies, and so I can implement security in my own um, enterprise. But from my point of view, I'm coming with ideas from the university environment and saying, you know, here's some ideas, what do you think? But also, I was involved in some of the Etsy work a few years ago, and I'm catching up on where has it got to? And the conversations I'm having are perhaps where has uh, e-signature got to take up of PKI? Um, there may be new security management uh, schemas, which people are talking about. So it's a rich source of feedback for ideas, and I find there's a lot of ideas here at ISSE. We are into identity and access management. We have products for um, strong authentication. Uh, there's a lot of talk here about uh, PKI and, and certificate authentication. That is something we do. Uh, we would like to extend our network. We have um, looking for partners and we're looking for, for bigger projects that, that we know that uh, EMA, the EMA group, is, is uh, looking into and managing. So that's, that's the key thing for us. I'm speaking later on today about secure software development, which uh, is one of the primary reasons I'm here. Um, but the message that uh, it's important to have uh, certified and professional people working in the industry, I think, goes down very well. We're spreading uh, when the independent message this time. While we present uh, secure MFPs, as basically every year, uh, we concentrate on telling people what the real risks are and uh, using these things. These devices evolved from being simple copiers to complex network devices which bring their own risks. Uh, DAP Technologies manufactures a range of fully rugged mobile computers. Um, specifically we have a range of devices um, that address the needs of the mobile identity and access management space. Um, and we've come here today uh, to meet with like-minded professionals to talk to them about their requirements and also show them some of the solutions that we offer from our range. We are here at ISSE 2009 to showcase our EDR hard disk crusher, which crushes hard disks and renders your data irrecoverable within 10 seconds. The ISSE environment provides us a great opportunity to meet up with people who are like-minded with regarding our products because you invariably get uh, security experts of course but people who are also knowledgeable and have an interest in things like networking and storage. ISSE, Europe's only independent interdisciplinary security conference and exhibition. <laughs>